Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can display text entries in the data area of a pivot table. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. So here's what the data actually looks like. I have a simple three column data set with the ISBN numbers appearing in column A, their titles appearing in column B and a BIC code appearing in column C. Now, as you can see in the ISBN column, one code may appear multiple times. The codes in A2 to A3 are the same. Then the codes in A5 to A6 are the same. So for the same codes, while the titles remain the same, the BIC code changes. Now, I'd like to basically transform this data set from a column-wise data into a matrix-like data format, which essentially means that I want the ISBN columns to appear in, let's say, in one column, with the short titles appearing over here. And then I want to create one column each for the different BIC codes associated with that ISBN uh, number. So as for example, if I take the first ISBN there, I'd like this ISBN and the short title to appear over here, let's say in F2 to G2. And since there are two different codes assigned to that ISBN, in column H, I'd like to see KC and column I, I'd like to see KCC. So in other words, I only want to see one row per ISBN. Now, in my previous uh, YouTube video, I'd shown how to accomplish this using um, Power Query, which is a free add-in from Microsoft for Excel 2010 and higher versions. Now, if you're using Excel 2007 or a lower version, you cannot use Microsoft Power Query, but, it, but instead can use Microsoft Query. Now, the steps to solve this problem using Microsoft Query would be, I first of all create a column over here called that tally. And do a, and write a count if function to actually count how many times each ISBN appears in that particular column. And I anchor the row number of the very first cell reference. I copy this all the way down. And what this actually does is that if an ISBN number appears twice, then against this first reference, it will show a number one. And against the second one, it will show a number two. Now I select this data set over here and let me assign it a name. Let's call this books. Okay, now what I need to do is select the data set here, go to data from other sources, from Microsoft Query, Excel files, go to OK, navigate to the folder where I've actually saved this file, which is copy underscore aditya dash copy dot xlsx. I click on OK the books named range appears over here. I transfer all columns there to the, to the right. Next, it now asks me whether I'd like to filter the data set. I don't wish to do so. Click on next yet again. Do I want to sort? Not so far. Click on next yet again. What would you like to do next? View data or edit query in Microsoft query and finish. Once the MS query window opens up, there's a button over here called SQL. I click on that and blank this box out. Now what I actually do is I write this specific query in the SQL statement box over there, which is transform first BIC, which is the column that I want to create, which is the field for which I'm going to create multiple columns. Select ISBN 13, this is a column title over here, comma books dot short title. So on the row labels, I'd like to show ISBN 13 and the short title from the table called books. I'd like to group by the ISBN column and the short title column. And I want to pivot the tally portion, which is um, the numbers that you see over here. When I click on OK, cannot be represented graphically. Do you want to continue anyway? When I click on OK, I seem to get my desired data structure there. And all I need to now do is transfer this data back into the Excel file. So I go to File, Return Data to Microsoft Excel. And in the Import Data box over there, with table selected by default, existing worksheet, let's put it on New Worksheet. When I click on OK, I get my desired data structure. And the best part of this entire process is that this data is refreshable. So I can right click and simply click on Refresh there. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Thank you.